Then I'm going with you. Equipment's way better than that trash in Rio. Way better. So now we work for the Hulk? Fast and Furious 6, one of the most successful movie franchises in history, will cement its place as Universal's biggest debuting movie ever. The weekend box office total for the film was $117 million, topping The Hangover, which sold over $51 million at the box office. But more impressively, worldwide receipts for Fast and Furious 6 gave it a $312 million opening. Vin Diesel, who was the producer and played character Dominic Toretto, noted that they needed to top last movie's villain, or at least reimagine one for Fast and Furious 6. We could never do again what we did in Fast 5. We could never match brawn with brawn in the same way. There wouldn't be a bigger person to get than Hobbs. There wouldn't be a more fan-fantasized matchup than Hobbs. Uh, so how would we push the envelope? And by choosing this kind of very efficient, uh, almost Bond goes rogue-like character, um, you and the audience go, how is Dom gonna handle this? It's not just a warehouse brawl. It's not just a you know, muscle against muscle, or this guy, the, the, the rival that Dom is facing right now works in a different way and, uh, and is not simultaneously not a, a afraid to exploit your weakness, which is anything that you feel is dear to you. Other notables on what was an impressive Memorial Day box office domestically, thanks to the inclement weather hitting the U.S. this past weekend, was Star Trek Into Darkness at number three with just over $47 million, the kids' movie Epic at number four with almost $43 million, and Iron Man 3 at number five with $24.6 million. You think that you can't make mistakes, but there's going to come a moment when you realize you're wrong about that. yourself.